Hello again. One game which I like to play is hearing about some news item and then guessing how long it will be before somebody tries to link the matter with racism. We've seen this done in recent years with everything from COVID to A-level results and it was inevitable that the latest hot news story about the unjust prosecution of hundreds of people who had been running sub-post offices would be attributed to racial prejudice. In the description to this video, I give a link to a piece from the BBC website on this subject. The headline reads, Racism affected how we were treated over horizon, says post office victims. This is also, by the way, a terrible indictment of how sloppy the BBC is lately about language and grammar. It should, of course, read, say post office victims. But then an awful lot of the stuff which is published by the BBC these days seems to have been knocked out by people with limited proficiency in the use of the English language. It appears that of the 316 people convicted by the courts in connection with this dreadful business who gave their ethnicity, 123 were of black, Asian or other ethnic minority origin. In other words, around 35% of them were not white British. Overall, something like 45% of post sub-postmasters are Asian or other ethnic minorities. In short, it seems that a disproportionate number of white people were prosecuted for these matters, rather than racial prejudice against Asians being involved. Anything less indicative of racism can hardly be imagined, but of course the BBC are never happy unless they've placed racism at the centre of any news story, and so this is par for the course.